Topic is uh, sonography of the normal liver. <coughs> if you look at the location of the liver, it is almost 60 to 70% covered with the cage. It is below the diaphragm and here are the vessels, the ribs. <coughs> the normal liver, uh, the most important things to be noticed are size of the liver, shape, echogenicity, and echotexture. For liver size, we may admit clavicular long axis. We will put the transducer longitudinally. The head will be towards the upper side, towards the axilla. <coughs> and we will put it at mid clavicular line. And when we measure in long axis, the normal size is usually 13 centimeters, but we take it normal up to 15.5 centimeters. So the average will be 13 centimeters in adults. When it is above 15.5 centimeters, we label it as the pathomegaly, where then countries having more infectious diseases like Pakistan, we take 16 centimeters in adults as normal upper limit. And we usually label the pathomegaly when it is above 16 centimeters. Whereas internationally, it is about 15.5 centimeters, which is the upper limit. It also depends upon body habitus, the height of the patient. So it varies with that. When we put the transducer at mid clavicular line, we will get this type of view. There are two options. We can measure from this end to the center of the dome. This is diaphragm. Here is the kidney and liver. Or we can draw a straight line here. And from the end of the visible part, which is the mid of the diaphragm, we draw a horizontal line. When it touches this vertical line from the end of the lobe, uh, this gives us the length of the liver. Liver can be of different shapes, as we can see these five variants. There is the echo texture of kidney uh, versus the liver. So we can compare the kidney with the liver and vice versa. In some cases, we can also get artifacts because of the intestinal loops which are lying nearby. So we can get artifacts from the intestinal loops, especially the duodenum, which is having food particles, or sometimes we can have air artifacts. This is how the normal liver appears. Here is a diaphragm and right lobe of liver. Left lobe is on this side. When we look at the parenchymal organ echogenicities, we must know that the renal medulla is hypoequic as compared to cortex of the kidney and the cortex of kidney is isoacric or hypoacric to liver parenchyma. The liver parenchyma is hypoacric to spleen and liver is also a hypoacric as compared to the pancreas. Pancreas are more hyperacric, more whitish. Pancreas are less hypoacric as compared to renal sinus and retro renal fat. Here is the medulla having pyramids, which is more hypoacric 
as compared to the cortex, and cortex is more hypoechoic as compared to the liver.